Hi everybody, Cody May here at Pete's RV Center in South Burlington, Vermont. I'm here showcasing for you a 2025 28VH. Um, this is a great floor plan for families. It's got a large bunkhouse in the back, uh, tons of extra sleeping for your guests. I'm gonna show you a couple things on the outside and the inside of this unit that make it one of my favorites and maybe a favorite for you as well. Coming around the side here, we've got a nice oversized pass-through storage. Um, you can see that they actually continued the flooring all the way to the front and that wall board to just give it a nice finished off look. Your sidewalls here are a fiberglass sidewall with an aluminum frame. Um, Vibe actually vacuum bonds their sidewall as opposed to just a, a pinch roll method. So you get a much more secure bond from that fiberglass to that aluminum. If you come down a little bit farther this way, uh, I can show you this outdoor kitchen. It's a pretty unique outdoor kitchen, uh, maybe different than one that you've seen on another camper. You've got a small dorm style refrigerator. That's just 110, so that needs to be plugged into power to work. You've got a large sink base in here. This is removable, so you can put your dishes in there, let them soak, and then bring them right inside to wash them. And then you've also got an induction cooktop to the left. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with induction, this is designed to only work with a special type of pan, which means that the kids can't burn their hands on it while you're cooking. Um, and it actually does come with that induction cook pan in that pass-through storage. So in case you don't have one at home, you'll have one for the camping trip. You've got two outdoor speakers, a huge power awning with an LED strip light underneath. Uh, so you can get total coverage, whether you're cooking at the kitchen or if you're uh, exiting the camper. You've got a huge 30 inch entrance door, um, which may not seem like a big deal, but if you've ever walked into a camper with a, with a standard 26 inch door, it's a drastic difference. Um, and then leading up to that door is your solid steps from Lippert. These are gonna add a ton of stability to the camper when you're walking in and out. You don't get that shake side to side. They're also gonna fold up and store inside the camper so that road debris is not corroding them while you're traveling. They did an oversized step at the top and they also did a kick plate here. So you can kick some mud off the shoes before you head inside. Let's head inside now. I'll show you a few things on the inside that I really like. All right, welcome back guys. We're inside this 2020 Vibe 28BH now. I'm just gonna show you a couple cool things on the inside. I mean, first of all, just looking around, it's got a really beautiful, elegant design. They're using a lot of lighter colors, like these light grays, to just kind of brighten up the, the area. You'll see those two big windows on the outside of that slide, um, accompanied by your two windows on the end of the slide as well, speaking to the integrity of that slide box, uh, but letting a ton of natural light in. In the back here, we've got your bunk room. Um, a little bit different bunk room than, than you might have seen before. You've got this L-style bunk on the top. You've got your normal bunk on the, on the bottom here, and then you've got these cube sofas. Um, so those will actually unfold and be plenty of sleeping for, for two children next to each other. And then you've got a nice storage basket underneath this lower bunk uh, for all the kids' toys and clothes or, or whatever you need to put in there. Coming into the living room area, you do have a full trifold sofa, so that will unfold to make about a double-sized bed. Um, you also have this big U dinette that's going to be plenty of seating for up to five people and it's also going to convert down into a secondary sleeping area in case there's not enough room in that bunk room there. The kitchen is one of my favorite parts of this entire unit. I just think it looks super nice. It looks residential. Um, this awesome backsplash that they did, they carried it all the way up to the bottom of these cabinets and then these glass inserts that they put into these cabinet doors I just think looks really elegant and really cool. You've got your big stainless steel sink, your three burner gas range, and they added this pots and pans drawer which may seem really small and insignificant, but most people don't put them in there, so it, so it matters. We've got a new fridge this year. This is the 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. Um, the biggest thing you'll notice about this new refrigerator is the extra capacity. So a typical refrigerator in an RV is six to eight cubic feet. This is gonna be a whopping 10.7. You've got a nice, nice space up in the fridge as well. To the right of that refrigerator, you've got a huge flat screen television, which does come with the camper. Below that, you'll see your sound bar and your stereo system, which is gonna control the speakers, not only inside the coach, but on the outside as well. You can play those individually or together. Right through here, another great feature of this camper is this huge bathroom. So they designed this floor plan with a walkthrough bathroom, which gives you the full width of the camper for this space. For this space. Um, so it gives you the, the ability to add these shelves here for your linens, so plenty of room for your towels. A huge, huge 30 by 36 shower. And this curtain is one of the coolest things I've seen this year. It's got a little wiper seal on the back side, so when that's rolling back up, it's gonna squeegee all that water off and it's gonna run right back into that shower pan and not get any water on the outside here. You've also got this cool little shower caddy bag, which again, something small that, that they throw in for you. Um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so you can go inside, load up all your shower and your toiletries, and then bring it right out into the camper and hang it up and you've got your bathroom to go. In the bath, in the bedroom here, we've got a residential Denver mattress. 
if you lift that mattress up, you've got a little bit of storage in these two cubbies back here, and then you've got four individual bins that when you remove this strap, you can actually pull right out without lifting the bed. You've got some nice hardwood cabinetry around the outside, actual doors on this top shelf. Um, some brands just put a shelf here, and it's really not very usable when it's just a shelf, but adding doors makes it so you can actually store some stuff in there while you're traveling. And then some nice hanging closets on either side, um, so you guys both have space for, for all your clothes. That pretty much takes us through the Vibe 28 BH. Again, my name's Cody here at Pizza RV Center in South Burlington, 4016 Williston Road. My email address is codym at pizzarv.com. If you have any questions or you'd like to see this camper in person, give me a shout. I'd love to answer any questions. Thanks a lot. Happy camping.